What's up everybody, it's Physical Friday. We are on set right here at Hawks K. Now, when Hawks K is the title sponsor of our show, we've been coming down here for 18 years. Um, I know what I'm gonna get here. I know what they have in the gym, what they don't have in the gym. I know what our days are gonna be like. So I know that some days I'm gonna have to work out in the afternoon. Some days I'm gonna be able to get up and work out in the morning. What I'm gonna try to do on a road trip like this. I don't think I'm ever going to get in better shape on the road. I don't have as much time. I don't have as much equipment. There's all kinds of things that, that I don't have. But what I do have is I got a truck and I can carry some stuff with me and I know where I'm going to be and what this place is like so I can plan. And that's really the, the whole point of today's Physical Friday is failing to plan is planning to fail. If you just think that you're going to go on your business trip and you're gonna you know see what they have at the gym and maybe you get a workout in you're not gonna do it you probably won't most people won't if you have a physical uh, a personal trainer or somebody that you're working with a coach of some sort and you tell them you're going on um, your your business trip maybe they can show you the programming that you were supposed to do for this week and then um, kind of change it so that it's all body weight or change it so that it is uh, something that you could do in a standard hotel gym with a treadmill and a couple of dumbbells. For me, I have brought a rowing machine down here, a sandbag, a kettlebell, and a jump rope. And what I did is I looked through my workout. Uh, right now I'm doing the Matt Frazier um, program on hybrid and every day it shows me what the workout is supposed to do so today i'm supposed to do a strict press power jerks then there's a metcon which is uh, kind of a workout where you do a whole bunch of different things so this one was assault bike calories 40 squat cleans at 55 percent eight double unders 50 and then each one of these rounds goes down just a little bit and so I look at that and I'm like, well, I don't, I don't think I'm gonna be able to fit an assault bike and a rower in here. So I looked through the whole week and I determined that if I were to, if I were to have a rower, I could get a, a pretty good resemblance of this workout on the road on my own time. I don't have to go to the gym, I don't have to do anything. I know everybody can't take a rower with them, but maybe you got a bicycle. What's the difference between taking a rower with you and taking a bicycle? It's just whatever you have. This is what I have. And this is a good piece of equipment that's going to give me a similar type workout to this. So what I did is I looked through the, a few days and I thought, okay, what are the pieces of equipment that I can take that will give me a similar workout to what I am um, doing at home? And I, I'm, I know that I'm not gonna get the same workout. It's not gonna be as good. I don't have as much time. I don't have the same equipment. I don't have all the weights, but that's what we're gonna do here. I'm gonna show you exactly how. I'm gonna scale it back and for, for your own purposes, talk to your coach, talk to your trainer, look through your program, find a body weight program, do something and have a plan for when you go on the road. And then you can maintain your fitness might not get in better shape on the road, but you can maintain your fitness on the road by getting you know, 30, 40 minutes exercise while you're on the road. Then when you get back to the gym, you're not starting all over. You've maintained. All right, that's Physical Friday for this week. You can see what I do with this workout. See ya.